Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Outbreaks of disease and hunger seem inevitable in Gaza after weeks of Israeli bombardments. That's according to the United Nations Human Rights Chief. Volker Turk made the comments during an informal briefing to the UN in Geneva after visiting the Middle East. It comes after the World Health Organization warned of worrying trends in disease spread across Gaza. In my career, working in many crisis situations around the world, have I met such an outpouring of fear, anger and despair. The people of Gaza, who for years have been profoundly impoverished behind barbed wire fences, are enduring bombardment by the Israeli security forces of an intensity rarely experienced in this century. President Joe Biden says the US and China have agreed to resume military-to-military -military communications in an effort to ease rising tensions. We're back to direct, open, clear communications, he said, following a rare meeting with China's President Xi Jinping in California. It was the first time the pair had spoken in person in more than a year. At a news conference following the summit, Mr Biden said a lack of communication was how accidents happen mm. and added that both presidents could now pick up the phone and be directly heard immediately. We're reassuming military to military contacts, direct contacts. As a lot of you press know, follow this, that's been cut off and it's been worry worrisome. That's how accidents happen, misunderstandings. So we're back to direct, open, clear, direct communications on a, on a, ba on a direct basis. Vital miscalculations on either side can, uh, can cause real, real trouble with, a, with a, a, a country like China or any other major country. And so I think we're made real, real progress there as well. Finland's Prime Minister has announced that his country will close some border crossings on the border with Russia. Four crossing points in the south will close at midnight on Friday, while two in the north would stay open for asylum applications. Finland has seen a surge in illegal crossings from Russia in recent days, mostly of third country citizens. The Prime Minister accuses Russia of deliberately helping people without proper documents to get to the border. After weeks of haggling, socialist leader Pedro Sánchez has clinched a vote in Parliament to lead Spain for another term as Prime Minister. He has secured a four-seat majority in the 350-seat chamber after sealing an amnesty deal for Catalans involved in a failed bid to secede from Spain. The Conservative Popular Party won elections in July, but leader Alberto Núñez Feiju failed to form a majority. Mr. Sanchez told MPs that the amnesty deal would help heal wounds. The UK's former Prime Minister and new Foreign Secretary David Cameron has made his first working visit to Ukraine, meeting President Vladimir Zelensky in Kyiv. Minister, welcome. No, it's to meet you. Oh, I'm sorry, it's my very first visit. As welcome, Foreign Secretary. Lord Cameron reiterated the UK's support for Ukraine, promising moral, diplomatic and, above all, military support, however long it takes. He also visited a church in Odessa, damaged in a Russian strike. What I want to say by being here is that we will continue to give you the moral support, the diplomatic support, the economic support, but above all, the military support that you need, not just this year and next year, but however long it takes. Malawi's president, Lazarus Chakwera, has suspended with immediate effect all international travel for himself and his government in a bid to save money. The measure follows a huge devaluation of the currency as Malawi secures a loan from the International Monetary Fund to boost its ailing economy. Mr Chakwera has also ordered all ministers currently abroad to return home. Fuel allowances for senior government officials have also been cut by 50%. And a desert antelope has been transferred to a zoo in Bedfordshire in England in an effort to bring the species back from the brink of extinction. Sabre, a scimitar horned oryx, travelled from a zoo in Denmark via road and sea to Whipsnade Zoo in October. Video showed him running around a field and engaging with other antelope. The transfer formed part of an international breeding programme which has been launched to protect this extinct in the wild species. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.